XP Exposure FX has had a massive update with new features like up resing, accurate new collisions, deformer support, new simulation options, and more. The first thing you'll notice is the new OpenGL viewport display. These hardware renders demonstrate the quality of this new display mode. You can show separate or combined channels and apply custom settings like colour and transparency to each. Let's adjust the viewport look of this burning torch scene. Adjust the slices for more or less detail. Use black body colour mode for realistic flames. Alter opacity, fuel transparency, minimax temperature for different looks. With separate controls for smoke, you can make precise alterations using colour and transparency gradients. Switch to manual mode for stylized looks. Exposure Effects now supports Cinema 4D deformers. Here we have a simple smoke and fire sim moving on the X axis. Let's use a bend deformer to make it look like we're altering the path of this sim. We're playing this back at times three speed. We'll add another bend deformer to bring it back onto the X. And we can bring more complex deformation. Let's add a twist deformer, make it a child of the Exposure FX. And now we're getting the double bend and twisting to our volume. We can use the spline wrap deformer to make our linear simulation follow the path of any spline. And in this scene, what looks like a complex animated collision object is actually just a spline wrap deformer referencing an animated spline. Deformer support in XP Exposure FX, making complex art direction simple. There are two rewritten burn models within the sim settings, chemical and custom. Chemical is quick to set up with only three parameters, including burn rate variation and ignition heat. Custom opens up more functionality with spline controls for each parameter, fine-tuned adjustments for the perfect look. There are settings for smoke from heat, smoke from fuel and gas expansion for ultimate control. You can now make precise adjustments to detail of simulations with individual vorticity and turbulence controls. When you're happy with your simulation at low res, you can now jump to the new up res tab. Activate up res, select your new voxel size, and the new simulation will have all of the required extra detail, but it will maintain the same shape that you had designed at the lower res settings. In this side-by-side -side comparison, you can see the shape of the lower res sim respected by the detailed up res. There's a new feature to prevent stepping in fast-moving sims. It's called Motion Gap Fill. In this scene, we've removed all gravity. Let's see what happens when we sim this fast-moving emitter object. There are clear steps in the sim. This is where motion gap fill comes in. Let's add a value of 5 and re-sim. And the stepping is considerably reduced. Let's try adding a value of 10, re-sim. And the gaps have gone. Let's have a look at the Explosure FX source tag in this scene. We're now able to transfer the velocity of source objects into the fluid itself. If we select 20%, hit play, you can see the velocity's effect on the fluid, giving this great motion inheritance look. And in this side by side, you can see on the left, 0% velocity, on the right, 100% velocity taken from the animated source object. XP Explosure Effects has a brand new collision system which brings amazing interactivity between scene objects and your sims. So here we have quite a complex hand animation. It's going to waft over our smoke and fire and look how well it interacts with that volume, creating this turbulent backdraft as it passes through. Let's have a look using our new OpenGL display mode and you can see just how well those collisions are working.
with a powerful new up resin feature, fantastic new OpenGL display mode, new advanced simulating options, deformer support, and the new accurate collision system. This is XP Explosure FX.